Hello, all. So a group of friends decided we should visit Vienna. When in Europe, you should visit churches. Doesn't matter if you are religious or not. Kata seems grumpy. I'm not sure why. <gasps> the world's largest TV antenna. Look at that. Anyway, Vienna's pretty, 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 pretty. Here we are at Figmuller. Here you can get a schnitzel bigger than a plate. We stayed at the Park Hyatt. This is it. It has a beautiful elevator. I love the light in the elevator. This seemed like a fun idea at the time. Reminded me of my honeymoon in Paris with some friends. Back to Vienna. We had a really nice swim and time in the sauna one morning. They do have a really nice Eggs Benedict for 9 euros 50, which was actually excellent and good value. There's Kata looking very happy. Hi, Kata. Nice to see you. Now, you'll see these signs showing how pedestrians and cyclists should interact with one another. It's confusing. Bikes on the left, then the right, then on the left, and then they're on top of each other. This church seems to be sponsored by Amazon. Maybe instead of praying to God, you pray to Alexa. I managed to catch the rainbow parade. They picked up that litter that was responsible of them. Well done there, group. No slut shaming here. Mm -mm. Vienna was the home of influential people such as Johann Strauss, Sigmund Freud, Mozart, and Karl Renner. They have progressive stoplights. Oscar put it best. They are too best, no? Here, ooh, you can take a carriage ride. It's supposed to be 40 euros. Just outside the opera house, they have this really wonderful thing where they have screens and chairs set up so that anyone can enjoy it. And that's it. Visit Vienna. It has everything you could ask for in a European city.